Today, I'm going to try something new again. I'm not too sure what kind of beat I want to make for this week. To be honest, I was dying of old age listening to YouTube sample playlists. So <laughs> I came up with a solution that I promise has never been done before on this platform. It's never been attempted. No one's ever done it. I I've made a wheel, which is going to decide which genres I blend together to produce a new instrumental. There's a couple genres in here that I've never tried to make before. So hopefully that makes it a bit more interesting. Hopefully they don't come up too often because otherwise I'm... Uh, but yeah, let's make a start. All right, so here's the wheel that I created. Some of the ones towards the bottom, and I'm a bit shaky on because I haven't made in a while. All right, please be something good. Okay, okay. That one's not too bad. I'll take that. I'll take that. All right, we'll take soul. I think I'm okay at soul. I've got some experience. It shouldn't be too bad. Oh, I don't know, man. It, it really depends on what I have to blend it with, really. Let's just see what I need to blend with it. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, soul liquid drum and bass. Is that doable? That's doable. I don't know how to make liquid drum and bass. This is one of the ones I haven't attempted to make before, so this is going to be interesting. Step one of uh, step 25 process. To make liquid drum and bass. <laughs> can only imagine the absolute state of this Adobe Premiere Pro project. Done a little bit of research. Liquid drum and bass is like a more atmospheric, calming version of drum and bass, uh, normally around 160 to 180 BPM. So it, it does actually fit my production style very well. I think I would have struggled a lot more with like jungle or something, or just normal drum and bass, hard style or something like that. I'm kind of happy that I got this one because it makes the most sense for my production style. But So I'm going to set it to around about like 172 BPM. Plus First of all, I think I'm going to need a pad, so when in doubt, you open Splice and you look for presets and sounds. Yeah, that's the one. Sounds pretty good. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. I don't know how good that's going to sound at really high BPM like this, but I think I just need to go with it for now. So we're going to need to layer that pad with another one, I think. I think this is just going to be about layering. Yeah, this is another one that I use pretty often for trap soul stuff. So, oh, it's out of tune, bruh. Alright, I think it needs an ARP now. I'm just going to find an ARP in Diva, I think. <laughs> I think I'm going to layer it with like a more atmospheric pad now. All right, I'm going to use that one and then just layer it again and then bounce it out. There's like five instances of serum in this beat already and it's only been like five minutes. Okay. And the bass is just going to follow the root notes of the chord progression. So it's going to be pretty simple. This is going way better than 
I thought it would. <laughs> Thank you, Moon Boy, for the tutorial. I would have never been able to do this without you. We're now probably gonna want vocal chops, I think. the second part of this vocal chop so I'm just going to keep this part We need a kick. Where am I gonna get a kick from? There is probably more stuff I could add, but I want to keep it really simple since it's my first time. I think we have all the elements now, so I think it's just down to the mix, I think. I added just a quick EQ, some Sooth 2 to take out the uh, annoying resonating frequencies, crystal clear, Valhalla room reverb, a tremolator, and this is what it sounds like. And I do this also with the second part of the sample. Makes it sound pretty cool. I like that effect a lot. I'm happy that I found that on YouTube. They got Moonboy for showing me that because um, I would have never come up with that myself, to be honest. <laughs> All the mixing is done now, so I just need to lay out the beat and probably add some ozone to it, and it's done. All right, so I've arranged most of the beat. To be honest, I have no idea how to lay out liquid drum and bass beat, so I just added an intro and then threw in the drums. I could probably add some transitions as well, but I'm trying to keep it simple, so... too easy though so i might have to go for a second one i think for a first attempt for liquid drum and bass thing with transitions and some other like subtleties and nuances that i just don't know about yet i could probably have that sounding pretty good i might attempt on the channel again sometime who knows let's just listen to the beat and see what i can improve on for next time <laughs> 